Well, hello, lovers. So today we are going to do another um, Christmas design. I mean, winter design, not Christmas. Um, and what else do I want to say? I'm, I'm completely blank. Um, anyways, oh, today is uh, we have a sales uh, on our website. And it's good through tomorrow's uh, at midnight, fifteen percent off for hundred dollar purchase or more. Coupon code is Spooky fifteen, and twenty percent off for five hundred purchase or more. Coupon code is Spooky twenty. I will write that down later. Let me uh, find out the design that I'm gonna do. What do I feel like doing today? Hmm. 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 I'm thinking a nice winter dessert. Okay, I'm gonna do this one right here. It's a nice champagne icing. It's very easy. Okay, with our effect. Let me put my website on www.tinovo.shop. And I will include color information just in case if you have any shopping uh, and shipping question about the website, you can ask Kyla at 417. Seven seven two four zero two zero. I'm gonna pin it right down here. Okay, let me turn it around. Ready to connect, Dustin? Yep. You doing it for me? Mm, let me do it first just to see. Okay, ready? Yep. Invite. Find a better pen later, uh, earlier, but uh, yeah, I'm not favorite of this one, but I'm gonna send the request now. Okay. Wait, it says it was not sent. What's that? Send request. Okay, I see. Yay! Okay, um, so the sale for Halloween is good till tomorrow. You know what day tomorrow? October 31st. Halloween. Good. True. I hate this pen. It's made him handwriting so ugly with this pen. I like the oil pen. Good through October. Oh, yay! October 31st at midnight. I'm running out of room. At midnight. Did you moderate Tara? Uh, let me uh, moderate Tara for a quick. Yes, they ship to Greece. Let me see. Hi, Tara. Where are you? Give me a text. Tara might not be on yet. Okay. Let me see. Hi. Hi, Jim. Okay. 15% off. Okay. $400 or more. more. It doesn't matter how much you buy above a hundred, you're gonna get fifteen percent off. So it's increased as you buy. But when you get to five hundred, then it becomes twenty percent off for five hundred dollar or more. There she is. Hi Tara. Okay, I'm at moderators, confirm. Okay. There, and then I will type into WhatsApp group later. Let's get the show started. Okay, so, um, <coughs> I want to do this. So, take the rest of the nails out. 
Uh, with this design, we start our champagne background using clams. The trick here is the aura right in the middle. I'm using the sponge to do it. Um, the sponging technique is quite unique uh, this time. And then I'm using an aurora gel. These are just embossed. We're just going to learn some snowflake after that. Oh, thank you, nail box. Can I see the nails? Just these nails. I'm keeping the rest secret from you. Okay. Got all my supplies here. And I'm gonna search for some nails. What should I do with this? Okay, first I'm going to start out with champagne background. I'm using this. Yes, they delivered a frame. So this is glam gel that I'm using. And glam gel are basically a mixed glitters. Okay, so it's made with chunky glitter and fun glitters. So when you use something like this, you need a sponge. Search for my sponge. You need an ombre sponge. Okay, so this is my ombre sponge. I'm going to put it here. I need two. Okay. Now, I'm going to apply on the top and in the bottom. Okay. Or you can apply on everything. Let me see. Oh, I did apply on everything. Okay. So, I'm going to take glams out. And this is champagne, by the way. I'm going to apply all over. Thank you. Hi, Nails Land. Okay, what I'm going to do is fully cover this. One, two, three. Hi, Abby. You're my favorite, Tino. Thank you for all you do. You are so appreciated. Thank you, Q Kurt, 40, 48. Super baby. Oh, hi, Elisa. Ciao, Italy. Come say. Hello, Denmark. Hi, Denmark. Sorry, I haven't been on a couple of days and get really ill. I think I have COVID. I haven't get that sick in like a years. A year. No, 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 ten, 10 years. Ten years. Yeah. Ten years. I haven't get sick in ten years. Okay. So now, what I need is I need it to be more solid, of course. But I'm not gonna cure this and then slap on another coat. That's gonna be way too thick. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this sponge to take off all the liquid. Cause I want it to be really thin so I can apply another layer. So what you do is you just sponge all the liquid up. Of course the glitter is not gonna come up at all. There might be a little stain right here, but all liquid is up. Glitter is still on. So I want you to do that to all of the nails by sponging away all the liquid. That way it doesn't matter how many layers you apply, it's all gonna be solid by the end. And it's not gonna be thick. That is the purpose. We don't want it to be really, really thick. We just want it to be really, really glittery. Soak it completely off. And at some point, if you feel like your sponge is saturated with liquid, you might want to take like a paper towel like this sponge off the liquid so it's now it's drier. Let's apply another coat. Okay, I want to see how many coats I apply here. This is the second coat of clams. Okay, 
I don't want it to be too solid. I want it to be kind of like scattering champagne. I just don't want it to be too spall at the first coat. Second coat is way better than the first coat. Okay. So now the third coat, I'm not going to sponge it. The third coat, I'm just going to clear it. Uh, last coat, I don't want to sponge it because I want it to be smooth. So I need the liquid to be there. Of course, it's just one layer of liquid. Now it's all nice and smooth. But will you look at that? See that? You don't want the thickness. Go ahead and clear this. Okay. Do you want me to read some of the comments? Yeah, yeah. Okay, here's one. Are we going to be listening to opera all the way through this or? <laughs> Alexa, <laughs> play low fee music. Here's a station for you. Lo-fi hip hop radio from Amazon Music. Do you have any short now? No, not in Tino channel. Uh, even though lately I have these ideas that I do use short now, but for a different kind of design, uh, it's called a quickie. I love do doing quickie. Uh, in this case, I film uh, my selfie the most because I want it to look pretty even at the distance. So this kind of design is not detail design quickie is more up uh just through the glance and it's pretty it's a new style that i'm trying to see if it if it's gonna take up or not other than that every one of my design is in long nails it's a typical modeling size uh when will the group be available uh in about a few days it will be on He worked too quick. Uh, oh, we just applying. Yeah, we just applying glitter. Champagne, so. champagne is the color. Yes, the champagne. We have, I believe, ten colors. Champagne is one of my favorite. As long as it's not too yellow, too gold, it's my favorite. Classy colors. See that? So solid, so satisfying. Compared to this, see that? But I mean, you don't want to apply like three coats on. You just need to sponge it off. Have you ever anything else other than now? Yes, Lynn's. Mm, I started out at, with canvas. Yes, with canvas. Oh, that kind of thing. <laughs> I thought maybe she knew about your one wall color. I'm a horrible wall painter. Yes. Mm, Cut. I paint the wall with a brush. And the wall started peeling, bubbling. And the wall started to bubble. <laughs> Four hours later, you painted three feet. It was like. I thought that it can accomplish by the brush. I just didn't realize that wall paint did not peel like nails. Right. And I also take, thought you have to wait for it to kill, like you know, polish back in the old day. Oh, who have time for that? Who have time to wait for gel to kill? And I thought my my mistake for pain to to dry. Was assuming that any that with your mad talent on this kind of painting, that I assumed you could paint a wall one color. You know, that's 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 what they say my entire life. They be like, you know, you're such an artist. Will you help me paint uh, a wall? I'm like, what do you mean? I tell you something even better. That's one time that this oh, client. Do you cure between coats? No, 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 no. Okay, go ahead. No, between coat, I just sponge it. By the by the time that I finish sponging, that's no more gel. That just glitters. So it's okay to overlap it because that's no gel. Today is Christmas. 
Uh, it's still Halloween. But back to your cute story, because I know it's going to be But good. nobody cares about Halloween anymore. They want you to paint a wall. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, there is this person, this client, that asked me, Tino, oh, you're so talented. Could you help me cut my dog nails? I said, since you cut, you know, I'm a nail tech, so I'm obviously very good at cutting dog toenails. Uh, no, not really. So I bled it, of course. He never asked me for anything ever since. You mean he cut it until it bled? Wow, I, I didn't know how to gauge it. I didn't know about the click. I didn't know about the click. Quick. The, 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 the quick, not the click. Uh, the, the why quick. not just use glitter? Why not just use glitter? It's an interesting strategy that I try to teach because a lot of people, they are so intimidated by this method because the easiest way is always use a fun glitter like this. Like this one, you see how fun it is. Now that it just glitters. It's just fun glitter, it's easy. But sometimes we need something like this. We need something chunky. But when it comes to something chunky, the easiest, I mean, not the easiest, the most typical way is acrylic. Because without acrylic, it's either gel will be way too thick or way, it's just very tricky when you work with gel. You know, acrylic, you just um, boosting some chunky glitter on and you encapsulate it. But I just hate the takeoff. Something simple like this it shouldn't be trapped in acrylic encapsulation. So I move on to gel. But when applying something like this with gel, it's very tricky because the first layer, of course, is chunky. So it's not completely solid. And the reason why it's not solid, because if it is, it will all end up in the bottom of the bottles. That's why they require gel there to keep the chunky glitter separated, to keep everything fluid for you. But one of people's problem is they put one coat on, they cure, they put another coat on, they cure, they put a third coat on. At this point, it's too thick for them and they don't like it. So my trick is to take sponge because if you remove in top coat along the way like this, then it doesn't matter how many coats you put on. You can put on 10 coats. By the end of it, you end up with something completely solid, but so satisfying and so thin. Then, yeah. That is one of the tricks to the tray. You are welcome. A very simple trick, but yes, very effective. Until this day, here this still not a lot of people know about this trick to keep everything completely flawless. Say goodbye to acrylic. Because, you know, sometimes I want a nice, chunky glitter, not the fine glitter. Fine glitter are easy. But I want a nice, chunky glitter like this. Because chunky, that's why I named it Glam's Gel, for glamorous. I want it to be chunky and glamorous. But I would hate to use acrylic for something just as simple as a background. Because next time I have to grind all that up, and I do not want to grind that up at all. That's the right outlook. Our, our crystal magic glue is out, but we have the labels. Uh, and we have it. And we have the label. So so it can take off anytime. Uh, anyway. Um, what number is it, Chunky Glitters? So uh, for Glam's gel, I should have numbered, but I didn't. I would name on it. So this is champagne. I, I named it. On to all the crystal, like this ruby and this sapphires. I try to be complicated. I should have numbered. It's so easy if, if I can just number it. But I didn't. So glam gel, the only thing that I named it, I named it in uh, crystal colors. <laughs> Chunky glitter is your spirit and the moon's names. It's mine too. I'm a glitter lover since the very beginning. Everything's dry, everything's smooth. Now it's time to make the aura design. So I'm gonna take another uh, sponge. This one, I'm just gonna toss it. If you don't wanna toss it, you put it in a box. Next time you're using glam champagne, you take this out. I was just informed this, the cell is active right now. The cell is active right now. 
So with a sponge, I am going to take out pigment base. Pigment base right here. Someone recommend me to do an aura design with sponge before. Uh, initially, I wasn't, I didn't see it. I didn't see the vision, but I thought about it. What are you looking for, babe? I'm looking for it. Shannon? It's right here. I thought about it, and after a lot of thought, I discovered that it's ingenious. What number is Chunky Glitter? Chunky Glitter is champagne. Oh, wow. The name of it is champagne. Well, oh, those are beautiful from here. Mm -hmm. I love Chunky Glitter. Don't get me wrong. I, I love fun glitter like this, too. I, I love fun glitter because it's easy. Let me see. If I can show you. Really? See fine glitters? I love it for the fact that it's one coat and it's solid. Yes, yes, it's easy. But I love chunky glitters. I'm for sure. I prefer this more. See the big, big flake right there? That's that is hitting the spot. Hitting the spot? It's hitting the spot for me. Glamorous. That why I'm attracted to. It's the tricks, but thing like that. Thing that are so beautiful, so good to be true. That's always tricks that come with it, but easy trick though. Okay, so I have some clear all around it. I'm just putting white right in the middle, but all around it, I have clear on. Now my job is to make this blendy. I need a palette. Palette. Okay. So for those who are sick, let me tell you the, the quick method to healing. That's I watched that's Tino. Everybody six. Yeah. So what Tino was doing is he, he started off drinking the uh, sixteen ounce waters. I drink water like crazy. Right, like a sixteen ounce thing and he would oh. slam it and then every time he had to go to the bathroom, he would slam another one. So it was pee drink, pee drink. Pee and drink, pee and drink. I get over and uh I sick for three days. Yes, there is currently a sale going on right now until what tomorrow at midnight? Yeah. Fifteen percent off of uh fifteen percent off for a hundred dollar purchase or more. And when you spend a uh, five hundred, then fifteen percent becomes twenty percent. So whatever you order, that is a percentage up of that. Well you're whipping these out. Let me also say, too, that uh, being sick with your spouse is an absolute wonderful thing. I love it. I we love spending a time with Dustin. wonderful and... time, just hunkered up. And I don't want to tell them what we did, though. We watch all the X-Men series, because X-Men is my favorite. Of course, I never draw an X-Men on now. I should. <laughs> That's like the only thing that you... Yeah. Um, these are easy. These are not hard. I love things like this, because... It doesn't require any drawing. When I do this for my client, I actually in love and I chit chat more with my client when I'm doing things like this because when I draw, I do uh, focus a little more, but this is not drawing. This is you just doing now, just performing now. It's magic. It's just sponging, glittering. It's not drawing. It just requires a little trick for you to make it into perfection. Just go for everything else. But drawing doesn't require much trick at least. In order for your life to be easier, you have to know the trick for this. And then after you know the trick, everything will be easy breezy. Like look, look at the nails, so easy. You just need the tricks. Full bag of tricks. Mm -hmm. Let me see. <laughs> Lisa say I love getting my husband six. Lisa is ready to rock and roll now. Lisa just got ten of all orders. Oh, I mean, it's coming. It's coming. No, she got it. She got it? Yeah. She got it. Okay, I want the center to be a little wider, but I'm going to worry about that later. Oh, uh, did you hear your husband earlier this afternoon why he wasn't disturbing you? 
talked about buying the Halloween candy that he knows will be on sale tomorrow at 50% off at least. You're going to make me gain weight all over again. I'm just taking refurbished nutrients. Oh, I lose pounds the last couple of days. It was so fabulous. Right. I mean, you didn't need to. What's the name of the white liquid you applied on the sponge? So, uh, what I do, I put a little pigment base right in the metals. And then and I will sand it all around it. I do it again. You'll see me do it again. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Whoever recommend this for me, thank you so much. I almost bypass it. Such an amazing ability. Thank you so much. Okay, let's do it one more time. So for the, the I missed it, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so this is why I did. Oh, candy coated say red would be so beautiful. I absolutely agree. Don't worry. That'll be more colors. It cannot be just the only color that I use for this season. I love this whole look. They're going to be red and blue and green the whole nine yards. Uh, my biggest challenge is find a way to do black glitters for New Year. That's my biggest challenge because you know that straight black glitter, it doesn't get shiny when it gets encapsulated. Only silver black or iridescent hollow black. But I want straight black glitters this, this uh, Christmas. I don't even know how I'm going to do that. Can you do it red? Yes. Okay, so see that? Pigment base <laughs> right in the middle shine it all around and so you're gonna sponge it like this now yes i did it fast but when you first start it you have to go slow because you cannot be up you have to sponge right in the same place if that's too much gel you take another spot okay so it's a repeated sponge but in the same place because you don't want white to be on the outside at all. And the reason why I move, because I want it to be kind of thin. I don't want it to have too much shells. Okay, now look. Let's pick this one. This, this one. See that? You just sponge it like this. Remember, same thing like the ombre, you have to keep in between. Because if you don't keep in between, you just been working with wet gel, and you don't want that. You want it to be dry between layers. There's still a lot of gel on here, and I want to remove it. I don't want too much gel. Now, when you first start out, you might not end up with a perfect ombre. A perfect outer ombre. That's fine. It's just a matter of practice. However, with this design, you save. If you don't have a perfect ombre, it's okay. Because this design, I'm going to put Aurora gel on Snow White. On the white part. So you save. You can be a little flaw on this if you want to. If you want to. Okay, so now I'm, when I'm out of gel, I just pick a spot. And I take up some more gel into the sponge. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Learn something new every day. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hey, we're good to go. No more. Okay, here it is. So, first technique, write it down, write it down. It's dry that fast. 
just like I say, I hate paint in the wall. Who have time to wait for paint to dry? That's why you use a roller brush on a wall, honey, okay? Boom, boom. You, if you don't take four hours on a two-foot space, you got plenty of time for the wall to dry. It's just a flash here. I only cure that fast when I work with sponging because sponging is give you a very thin layer. Like usually when you polish uh, gels on the nails, sponging will be like four times thinness than applying polish. That's why I cure it that fast because it's very thin. Don't apply the same uh, strategy to polish. If you polish on the nail, don't cure that fast. But sponging on the nail, yes, you can cure really fast. You can cure like a second. All right. Now, the next ingredient that we use today, sound like Martha Stewart. Oh, my God. The next ingredient is Aurora Chows, Snow White. My husband used Aurora after brushing the corner by the window. I'm telling you, Tia, Dad, I used a brush to the whole thing. Oh, man. I brushed the whole thing. I no, didn't. Not oh. the whole thing. I stopped you a quarter way through. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that you can cure it for 60 seconds and be done, but no. The <laughs> wall, you have to wait it for 24 hours. <laughs> okay. Aurora Gel Snow White, take it out. Stir it around just a little bit. Something that glitter in it. I always want to stir it around. You look at this goodiness right here. So as I say, for this design, it's okay if you are a little flaw. However, this is just temporary. Only work for this design. You still have to practice a flawless aura technique. See the aura technique? Practice on that. But this design is forgiven. There is an aurora gel on top. So you can get away with a flaw ombre. Listen, I noticed your husband poured you orange juice. Was that for you? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you. A little sand it on. Let's zoom in. Wiggle it. Wiggle it. You see how my brush is wet with gel? I don't want that. I move on to another area and I wiggle it in empty area so I can take up some excess top coat. Cause, you know, you don't want it to have like a lot of top coat. You want it to be moist, but, but you don't want a lot of top coat on it. Now, let's ombre this out. Glitter are easy to ombre, by the way. Different than gels. If you are a beginner, glitter will probably be your favorite thing to blend. It's easy. Like the fairy gel, because the fairy gel is powder, remember? So it's easy to blend too. So anything grainy or easy at first, However, as you go, you have to be able to blend gel also. It just glitters. You already done the whole set. Let's move along quickly. Something like this. Pretty you got. You don't even need a design. You do something like this with your client. She her jaw will be dropped. She will be like cash up immediately. You don't even need a design for it. A design is just extra. This technique right here are fast pace. I'm telling you, we're gonna make a lot of money this winter. We were playing around a little bit last year, but this winter, we're gonna have a lot of salon ready design. We're gonna make a tons of nails money this winter. That's why we have to ready it really early. So Tino's Christmas gift to y'all is empowerment. Yeah. So you can practice right away all of this trick right here. Christmas will be having for your customers. See that? You're done. Here. 
อาจจะเคียมลงระทับเขาเอวิเดนส์ Let's make some nails money That's uh Tanya of course is summer in Australia Right so she wants Santa on a surfboard surfing Santa <laughs> What are you talking about This is United States This is America I mean, it's, it's not I feel like Santa should not be on a surfboard down there or you know he needs to be on a kangaroo Fine. I will compromise. I will make Sanda naughty and less close. He will have less clothes. Well, should I tell him what, what we discussed the other day? Please, next. What's that? I remember I said, honey, we should do an Australian set for them. I said, have Santa on a kangaroo. Do you remember what you said? No matter what, it's going to look like a mouse or a rat. <laughs> I remember that, and I'm not taking that back neither. Right, okay, I'm gonna top coat this. Maria. Now remember, I always pay attention to the side. You don't want to lose this shape. You want to clean up this side right here, so it's beautiful. And when I top coat, I will actually cure each finger at a time and work on the other fingers. I always do that. When I'm top coating, by the way, with client, just for me to maintain the shape because the shape is extremely important to me. It will be pointless for me to do a nail set and after that the shape is wonky, busted. That's what they call it, busted shape. No, I want to keep the shape. Pay very well attention to the side. Make sure that you stroke it over and take up acid gel, especially right here. It's my pet pee right here, there. After that, we'll learn snowflakes. Easy breezy. I even would dry it out for you. How about that? No fail is just a bonus, so it's just extra. It's a side piece. Side piece? Yeah, this <laughs> background right here is a witness. Will be one of the money makers for this season for you. Something that everyone can do 100%. Everybody can do this. You just need to know the tricks, the Tino tricks. Talking about going on tomorrow? Yeah, I'm gonna have another live tomorrow. I'm Wait a minute, I don't think you thought about this too much. Everyone that has kids and everyone that has their light on and a bowl full of candy is gonna be interrupted all night long. So, what time were you thinking? Oh, tomorrow is Halloween. Yes, yes. <sighs> okay, after tomorrow. You like a Wednesday? Wednesday, okay. Wednesday, I'm gonna do live. Does your top coat glow blue under the UV lamp? Yes, shine it does. That way you know where it's at. And crystal sealer also glow blue under UV lamp. Very important because then you know which one you already seal, which one you haven't sealed. One of the very interesting characteristics. Okay, now here everything's. This probably will look very good matted too. By the way. Okay, so we're gonna have art gel out. And we need something for me to write on.
and my favorite pen. Okay, let's draw a snowflake. <coughs> this one has eight arm. We start out with a plus. Then we split right in the middle, right here, and an X. Okay, a plus and an X. Then, okay, we make a V shape on each side. Okay, when I'm doing that, sometimes I like to do this because it saved me trouble. by not changing my brush angles. After you split it with a V, you split it again, right at the top of the V. Okay. After you split that, you start to add more um in this part right here the original lines okay you add more arms one two one two and you keep going and try to not confuse yourself because i'm already a little confused huh? little eye confusion Low eye confusion. After you done. Okay, so that's another snowflake that we're gonna do. Right here. So you can confuse your client. That's way they will pay you more. Okay. We need sugars. So I got myself some clear acrylic right here. Okay. Any brand would do. And you need a spoon. Leave it on the side. Take this out. And your art gel. Okay. Put it in. Wipe it up. Then you need a liner brush. Clean this alcohol. Saturated your brush by rolling it from side to side and then pour it out. Now let's start with these one. Okay. A plus sun. Another plus sign down here. Now you're not holding your breath or anything, are you? Oh no. Oh. Now a V shape. Scorpio dot did that said hope you feel better soon. I already feel better. We you know we didn't feel bad during the thing. Matter of fact, we enjoyed it. Yeah, I just we're just sick. I just sick, and it's not that I'm miserable or anything. I just couldn't I couldn't focus. I couldn't do focus work. 
you know, but if I just sit around and watching a movie, I'm not miserable. Oh, you're going to hold the breath for me? Go ahead. Hold it right uh, until after I'm done. I can hold my breath for three minutes. I used to be a swimmer, a very talented swimmer. And then I moved to the United States and I found out river is way different than beaches. Yeah, right, right. I found out that fresh water, you cannot flow like salt waters. Let's just say that in the river, I'm just like a, what they call it. You were like a, I don't know. A fish on land or something. Yeah, you were like a fish on land. Yeah, me scared of that. Yeah, I was like a fish on land. When I jumped down, I like, oh, why I'm sinking? I'm not supposed to sink. Right, and then you were also getting carried by the current. And I'm supposed to float, not sink. Me and Ginger running on the side, screaming. <coughs> and I was like, why is this taking me somewhere else? I'm supposed to float and stand still in one place. What kind of sorcery is this? <laughs> sorcery, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. A little drip on nails. All right, drip on nails. Uh, what size liner? 10 millimeters. Uh, we do not have gators and crocs in Missouri. No. It'd be so uh, Well, tasty. actually we do. They come in the form of boots and purses. It's, uh, it's the best we can do. And and the tails. We eat the tail here. Yeah, we do get tail meat. So. Yeah. It tastes like chicken, like everything else. Chicken, chicken. We got bears and mountain lions and Aurora, Missouri is a home to the white squirrel. Yes, yes. That is this white squirrel running around that apparently people seen it, but they they never able to catch it. Right. So now it's like a myth, it's like a legend here. The home of the white squirrel. I, I really believe they didn't have much going on, they just spray painted it. Really? I do. I think they did. It would have been yellow if they would have bleached it. The home to the white squirrel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just run around. Oh, you should have seen the day that uh, Tino, so I took him down to the river, which is so different than the ocean. And we usually jump off bridges and have swing ropes on all these trees. He gets up to the top of this swing rope and he grabs onto the fastened stick to the thing and he flies out and then he comes back and he's just up there dangling like a clock, right. like a pendulum on a clock, just back and forth. And he wouldn't let go. I cannot let go, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm just afraid to let go. I couldn't let go. It's so high up there. What else do I have going on here? Oh, fun. I have trapped myself in more design for this. What? Yeah. So you didn't A arm like before, and then you do little invert V. And just so you know, this is very tiny. Mm, it's tiny. Oh, I guess it's great. Okay. Yeah. Let's give it one big one. What pulse? 
What? What? I'm not sure. What pulse? Not pulse. The P U L S E. P U L S C. P U L S C. Pulse. Pulse. A pulse. Pour is a line of perfume. It's irresistible, yeah. Beyonce make pores for people to you. <clears throat> Victoria says, I was feeling confident until you started the tiny snowflakes. You can skip it. You can skip the tiny snowflake. I don't know what's in my mind that day. I just decided, hey, you know what? This is not enough. Let's give it some more details. I don't know what I'm thinking. That's my old self. Now I like, what the hell, Tino? Why do you paint this tiny little snowflake on? So you can skip it. It was me when I feel overly confident. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I should not have repeated again. At this point, it's just repetition. Man, they need to hear it. We need repetition to learn. Just because it's easy and formatted in your brain. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Now, here's the hard part. It have to be a line. Right here, it will end up to about right here. The middle one will be about right here. And then... The other one will be around right here. Okay. So now I mark it. Now, same thing. Ooh, I can do much better with that line. I should have. But no one can see. Okay. Now, V-shape all over this now just a, because the background is glittery i am not gonna pour sugar glitter on this because it will be very confusing that's why i decide to go with clear acrylic instead of sugars because normally you know you you think that oh it's snowy let's pour glitter on but the background is already glitter I don't want glitter to match up with glitters I need something nice and clean that's why I decided to stay with uh, just a simple acrylic Repeat one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, let's see. With the engraver, I decide to put a little circle right here. One. It'd be way easier if I can just pick up this now. A little extra. circle here. Uh, uh. So I'm going to use acrylic. It's okay if I do a little thick. 
just that long like pack it with acrylic to what is completely solid okay after this the uh little circle i'm just gonna drag it out make sure your brush is nice and thin when you do that so your line can be nice and thin drag it out um and let's give it a little teardrop right in here The reason why I don't sugar each nail and cure each nail because these art gel, it will just make sure that it stay here until I'm done. So it's not, it's no point of hurrying. Um, what's somebody that? Somebody wants to know, and I'm not gonna tell you it's candy coated that way you don't feel obligated. Uh huh. If you could do a red, one nail in red, please. One nail in red? Okay. I texted back and was like, hell no. This <laughs> is not going to be a red Christmas at all. Why did I decide to have another lesson uh, on one, red? Oh. No, just no. one lesson and then I can just switch it to color. And then if you're going to do, is it going to be home erector? Red or hooker red? It's gonna be ruby red. Ruby red? Yeah. Wow. No. Sadly, it's clam. Sadly. I only uh, have name, have those names for colors. Okay, it's time to make no V. gonna be brutally honest with you i'm trying to figure out how to get this sick again sicker you're still not recovered fully no i don't want to get sick again <clears throat> i might go down well of have, course you don't I have thing to, to do better. i'm just saying i enjoyed it so much you better watch me oh no I might go to the store see if we can buy some covid yeah they, they sell it at at the store, they sell COVID at the store. 99% off. 99% off right. for Halloween going to store. special. Halloween special, COVID 99% off. Some even give you free. <laughs> Go in the store, buy some COVID. Outside, they have free vaccine. Free vaccine? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yes, candy coated. I'm stuffy too. We went down together. Oh, not poison, just a. Happy little sickness. No, not poison. Just, just, just a little, just a little friendly a COVID. Hot chocolate and yeah. snuggly blankets. Yeah. A little friendly COVID to start the year off. A little friendly COVID. You mean to end the year, honey? <laughs> okay. Let's give it one big one since this last now. You know what? I can do much better with this line. But because I'm sick, it's okay. Yeah, it's because it's because I'm sick. I have an excuse to make crappy little line, okay? Yeah. So don't judge my line work, okay? It's a snowflake. You know, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be so pretty. Quick and fast and and accurate. We're, we wouldn't even notice a line crooked, and half of us are still trying to look for it. Well, let me tell you something. Usually, land like this is unacceptable, but remember that anything that are repeated is beautiful no matter what. As long as repeated like that and full of detail at the end, it looks fabulous. It doesn't matter what you do. So when you do land work, don't be too uh, vain or on your perfection because know that it's going to be pretty. They it's going. lines are our perfect lines. <laughs> It's not. Look at this one in the middle. But just like I say, it's all an illusion because just know that as long as it's repeat, it's pretty. It's going to be pretty no matter what. I mean, but don't push it. Don't push it. 
still still try to be perfect without the fear that it will bring you down if it's not perfect that's all just don't go cra too I, crazy don't go i really too crazy. don't see it i mean i really don't good good and you know if you mess with snowflake up too much you just turn into a snowball well you know you and me are now tech we different that's an is a climb and for climb really? they never see anything uh they see the bill they see the result that's what they see they never see anything go back to your cheeto and eminem becky wow i mean if i wasn't sitting here eating right now i would dispute this but Klein never see anything sometimes did, did your clan ever explain for you what they want for their nails? Oh my goodness. Hilarious. Yeah. The explanation on what they want, the vision that they try to paint it for you is hilarious. It doesn't match up with reality ever. But yet it's all they always think that it's the most brilliant idea. And they always think that whatever comes out of their mouth, you'll be gasping for air. Right. Which, of course, you're going to pretend to, but yet, yet that your client pretend to get up for air and pretend that that is the most brilliant thing that you ever heard. Then you can talk about them after they're gone. After they're gone. It's hilarious. Try to think up some example, but I couldn't think of any. But you know what I'm talking about. If your client ever told you what to design, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, somebody was asking earlier if we were going to Houston for what was it? Oh, for a hair show. No. And uh, we mean no. Houston? Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not no plan. It's not in our plan, but you know. Yeah. We, we, we might. We might? We might? Yeah. Wouldn't you love to go to like a hair show or something? I you mean, know not, what? Not I would. get a booth. I mean, just go. Yeah. Go down there and. Get me some highlights. I want red. I think it would be fun to go and not. not I want red hair. I want a red, red perm. I want a red perm, a, a bozo fashion. A, a red perm, a bright red perm. Perfect time for Christmas. Champagne winter, time to sugar this. Champagne winter? Yes. How about a whiskey winter? You know what? Let's kick it up a notch. Kick it up a notch. Let's add some glacier, you guys. Glacier. Life is too short not to have pleasure. You know, the people hey. the Titanic didn't say that. Think about pleasure. One line down. Okay. Next line is shortest, and the line beside that are way shortest. And then you can have another long line right here. Now don't look at don't look at the Y, look at the background. Right now, it's a little too even. So I'm going to drag this down a little more to make it not even. That's a hair right here. Time to get my ping box out and get my tweezers. Uh -oh. I lost my tweezers. Uh, last I seen them, they were. It's over there. I got them. Okay. So now, dragging this down. So now, if you don't look, if you look at the background, you see that it's inconsistent. That's a beauty in it. It's inconsistent for the glacier. Still a little bit in there. Hey Becky, look the other way. 
Okay, I'm gonna bury it. Okay, look back, Becky. It's nothing left. Oh shit, it's still a little bit. Lay a Cheeto in front of her, that don't. Distract Becky while I'm burying this hair. It's stuck in the, in the barrier. Okay. Glacier here. Is that your work? That's good. Okay, another glacier here. <coughs> Hi, demon nails. It's okay. There is a right now. I'm just uh doing details. It's not important. Uh, when you rewatch it, watch the first part. The first part are important. Oh wait, can decode it? Say, can I do the red one in red? So you might see it again. You might see the technique again. Right now, in fact, you need to do it in poker red because you seem so easy. You know, I think you I'm. Should, you should have made a bag of it. I think I'm way too nice when I'm sick. Yeah. You know, I think you're nice all the way. Usually, I will buy a head up. I'm way too nice when I'm sick. I'm too easy. You don't have to bite her head off, but at least make her beg a little bit, you know? I lost all the magic when I'm sick. When I'm sick, I'm just become this push over creatures push over creatures it's push over creatures oh that will obey to anything okay now Asian tilt it down Yeah, Dino feeling vulnerable. Vulnerable. I'm extremely vulnerable right now. <laughs> All right, this concludes our live. I'm gonna take advantage of you. <laughs> Candy coded is spotting it way before anyone else and she go in for the kill. Oh. So rough. See how I'm doing it again? That is how I usually do when I sugar it. I'm working in one finger, and by the time I come back, this other finger is ready to be poor again. It's absorbed everything. It's absorbed everything. It does take a while for it to absorb with art gel. The art gel is thicker. That's why it's better to have more finger of this so you can work in between so you don't have to wait awkwardly. Wait awkwardly? Yes. Cut. <laughs> but when I'm waiting, I'm not done yet, so I'm not ready to talk. So I'm just looking at Becky, and Becky is like keep yapping her mouth, and I'm just looking at her, and looking at the nails, I'm looking at her again, looking at nails again, waiting. Cause I'm still calculating the time, you know what I mean? Becky keep talking the whole time, totally unaware of anything that's happening. That's the thing I, I learned over time, though, is <clears throat> when they're so unaware of what it must take to calculate everything you're doing, right? you can just absolutely ignore them because they also don't notice that you're not paying any attention. They're not. They, they don't pay attention to me at all. They don't know that I'm ignoring them. They just keep talking. They just keep on talking about everything. Stupid question. Uh, Tia Monet, there are no stupid questions. Oh, wait a minute. There are stupid questions. I'm sorry. Um, Tell me this stupid question. What it, is it? It's not really stupid. Can you sugar 3D jelly? Yes. A little longer than the typical. Now, if it's clear, then easy breezy. But if it colors, yeah, you can sugar it. But you do want to pack it solid. So you do want to pour it just like that. But... A little longer than for 3D jelly. So you'll be looking at Becky a lot longer. But just know that 3D jelly also can be completely shiny and it'll be just fine. What is, if it's shiny, then I will have problem because it do take to be shiny. I have to pack it with acrylic for it to not chip. 
Well, that just brought it all out, didn't it? Yeah. Do you want to see closest? You know, I can see it. From, I mean, really, it, it does such a difference. You can see it from a distance. You should warn them, though. If they get these kind of nails, everyone's going to want to be touching them everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, can I touch your nails? If they even ask. Oh. Well, I can file it since it doesn't have any chrome or anything that needs to be protected. Everything is solid. This is a good question. Uh huh. Hello from the UK. It's beautiful. How do you know when you have enough acrylic applied? When it completely dry. If it's not dry, if it's not enough acrylic, it will get wet. When you pour on it, about three seconds after, it becomes like a little wet. That when you know, because it will sink down all the way to the bottom of the gel, and the top is still going to be wet. And on a thicker gel, it's going to take a longer time, probably 15 seconds or 20 seconds for, for you to see the, the, the wetness of it. But eventually, it will surface. That is when you have to pour it again. And when it completely dry, you actually can dust it before you cured it. That is how, how you know that it's completely dry is you can dust it like this and it's not going to smear the gel. Now, if you dust it and it smear, that means that it's way too soon. After you've done it for about, that's why you need practice. Because after you've done it for about, let's say 10 times, you know instantly. You know immediately. Like right now, I don't even look for the wetness because I just know. I just know how, how, how many times I poured it. But it does take uh, a little experience. So first, you're looking for the wetness. But after you're working with this design for a while, you just automatic. You become automatic with it. It gets easier at its calm. So for a nail that have different colors like what we have here is ruby lamp gel ruby see that the chunky glitters that is a cherry right there the chunky glitter however you don't want to kill this because if you kill this you have to apply another coat on and after the third coat, it'd be way too thick. So you do want to take a sponge like this. It has glam glitter on it. If you run over paper towel a few times, you get out the glam glitters. Anything else that are small, that's fine. So you want to soak it up because when you sponge it, it will take up all the liquid gel on the surface. So now you have no liquid gel left. See that how thin? See that? No gel. That's why you can apply another coat on immediately. You're not just swooshing it around. That's no gel. It actually it, helps stick the gel. It's just like, because if you, even if you lose glitter, you still have to put gel on it for it to adhere. This is like, you just magically have a layer of glitter on the nail for nothing. A freebie. Freebie. Look at that. It's like it's like you just it's like a glitter fairy just fly through your door and give you a nice layer of glitter without any gel, without any consequences. <laughs> so now after three coat, I have, I have completely no gel on here at all. All the goody without any consequences. I can apply ten coat on this if I want to. I can apply as much as possible. You see, back in the day, when I do this, if I do gel, it, it kind of end up becoming too thick. There are always some sort of encapsulation that I have to do with 3D jelly, build a gel and all that. So I most often choose to use clear glitters, uh, loose glitter and acrylic. Because acrylic is a form of encapsulation. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. <laughs> Say goodbye to all that. Because now you can use gel, but it's not going to be too thick on you. 
And when your client come back, all you need to do is buffer it out, file it out, and then you're ready for another set. Who have time to sit there for 30 minutes and grind up all of that acrylic? Mm -mm. That belonged to the 90s. Now, the last coat that I do is always no sponge. Cause I want everything to be nice and smooth at this point. Play around with it. Okay. Let's see. This is a dream right here. See all that junkiness right there? Highly desirable. But people are scared of it. I was scared of it. So I know. I know the feeling. Cute this. I was deathly scared of it because of the thickness. I was so intimidated by it. But every time that I do a look like that, I always read about it. I like glitters. And I try to talk to my client now, like, oh, I don't like glitter that much. You know? But now I fully encourage them. I'm like, you glitter is a thing of 2023, girls. In 2023, people love glitters. Glitter is a way to go. Glam glitter, junky glitter. I talk them into it. Because I know an easy way to do it now. Okay. I have white on here. I remember. So. I'm going to sponge all that out before I start anything else. Sponge it all out. Take a drink. and Hello, Sassy Press. Hi, Sassy Press. Well, we're not doing your nails. You have to trick me into it. You have to trick me into it. If you know exactly what I like, it's very easy. Don't try it with money. A lot of people try. Right. You have to really get to know Tina. You got to know the secret. A lot of people on here know Tina very well. So it's know. still not to trick you, though. Right, right. I mean, it's so very difficult to trick. Yes. You have to Candy coated, just wait till I'm sick and then she should make a request. Right. She just, you know. Did you hear her answer? I just say yes. No easily, problem. Easily. It's just like the first second. Because like, it's way too easy. Like, like I truly was this morning, I would have loved a quick yes to my chocolate endeavor. I was so proud of myself figuring out when, when the best time to buy it was. See, it's Charlotte, by the way. Charlotte is a no white gel. Uh, Sean, but if you want to use matte, that's fine. You just need something that are clear all around this white. And when you sponge, you have to remember, keep it centers. Okay. Centers. To be safer, you can move to a different area. The more you move, the thinner it gets <coughs> on the sponge. Oh, <coughs> remove a little bit here. Sorry about that. That's that my fault. 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 Bus. Okay. Now, now you see magic. You need a flash here because if not, you should be splash splashing it around. You don't want to. You want to clear it in between. Because now, when I move on top here. If this down here is still wet, what happened is it would, when I'm on here, the white, it would get to my clear right here. And you don't want that. That's why I key in between so it doesn't contaminate my sponge. Oh, that's smart. Okay. Now I'm going to weaken it a little more. <laughs> Cookie butter. We should have told them that, that you could be easy. Uh, are you playing a Black Friday sale? I need to stock up. So far? Uh, yes, there will be a Black Friday sale. Halloween is uh, good to tomorrow at midnight. That's a uh, sale so far. I 
No, it really wasn't too fond of red this year. But that, yeah. That, that looks I always, I always year. love red. Well, it's just. Red is like my things. I always attract it to red. Well, it's just Christmas and red is, 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 is at this half point of, of my life, I burn out on it. I'm ready for new, new fun, other kind of Christmas. Yeah. I love red. Hooker red would be well, great. It's Christmas red that, you know, makes me reflect back to all the family drama and the shitty dinners and the. Yeah. I have none of that. My family doesn't sound like Christmas. No, it's, it's been great. It, it's taken the 10 years of us being Go there. down, tell my dad, ha Merry Christmas, dad. He say, rub my back. Where's the prison? Like every normal kid. He said, what prison? What did you do to deserve the prison? I said, Santa Claus. Prison from Santa Claus. He said, I don't know him. Yeah, I don't know him. Yeah. That sounds like, yeah. So I, I, I told him what my coach told me. Don't play dumb with me, Dad. Don't play dumb with me. You know what I'm talking about. He said, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Get this. I said, so, yeah, all I want is just to be like every normal kid. Get visited by Santa. At the end of the year, I was a good boy all year long. So after that, I wasn't a good boy anymore. Uh, there's no incentive. I dye my hair. You did not get a part of the Christmas bribery program like you should have. You couldn't be threatened. No more, no one's putting me on a naughty list. But this time, I was really outrageous. I saw up home with a piercing oh. on my ear. My mom said nothing. Because at that point, it's not about the piercing. It's about the gayness. Oh. So just stare at it. And she's like, oh, piercing. And I'm like, yes. Okay. It's like, it's on your right side. Huh? She said, like, usually men have it on the left side. I'm like, oh. Oh. And then I just go back to my room. Hear this. This top coat, no wipe. And then... What was that? Diamond Flash? Oh, Lindsay is uh, Snow White, Aurora Gel. Uh, okay. Aurora Gel, Snow White. What's that? I'm going to get back to the what happened with the earring. That's it. That's it? Yeah. So your mom didn't tell your dad? And then he would come up here and make a... I don't get in trouble. I do what I want. Wow. Because I never explain myself. Kids only get in trouble when they explain themselves. I don't explain myself. If they want me to get in trouble, they have to come and ask me. But for some reason, they always intimidate when they have to interrogate me. Probably because they're afraid I will come out. Oh, you're very okay. Yeah. They always intimidate when they have to interrogate me. They don't want me to confess to anything. <laughs> like, we're good. Still a shot. Yeah, they say, don't confess. You're good. <laughs> They're deadly afraid of my confession. Oh, I didn't tell you about uh, earlier. What's that? The male guy. <clears throat> what happened to the male guy? Oh, man. It's, 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 I don't know if I want to say it on here. Because uh -huh. it, it affects, it affects someone. And I don't want to get Lynn started, so I don't even want to mention it. You know what I mean? But, uh, well, you know how we only talk to Lynn's on occasions because of her accent? Mm -hmm. Our mailman is from, right. We, that is we so hot. We don't need her. Right. He, he has no idea how close he got to getting yanked into the car and kidnapped. Are you sure he pretty or Australian? You know. But he have that Australian. We'll, we'll catch him tomorrow. It doesn't matter. It fits the right. You know what I mean? I'm going to I'm gonna buy some beef turkey. And then, oh my God. and then I'm just gonna go out to him and I say, "Do you want some kangaroo turkey?" Huh? Just to and see. Then, right. I say, I go out and say, "Hello, Mike. I have some kangaroo turkey. You want some?" 
I don't know what word exactly alerted me to the fact that, but it was a good one. Really? Oh, yeah, it was a good one. Ooh. Yeah. But the important thing is, is we now can start blocking Lynn's the proper way. Right. We no longer need right. her and her right. Right. sexy accent. We have Queen somebody Bill, else. Man, and Tara, we're covered, you know. Oh, we yeah. Tanya, so, you know. Oh, hell. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> oh my gosh, she said, you mean John? I sent him specially over for you. Great, great. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to this, don't pay attention to this detail, just pay attention to the repetition. As long as repeated, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. I only say that when I'm sick. When I'm better, it'll be different. I'd be like, you have to pay attention to every single detail. Mm -hmm. There's no excuse on being sloppy. But now it's different I'm sick. No, 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 Victoria. We are addicted to the uh, British accent. Yes. Matter of fact, this, this I just is, think this it's is so how sexy. Hard, how hardcore it is. Alexa, what time is it? It's 6.39 p.m. <laughs> See, it's, uh, is that British or Australian? It's in between-ish. I'm, I'm pretty happy it's with six, it. You know? It's 6.39 p.m. I, what's wrong with the way he says that make him British? Because I don't, I don't know that any significant... We didn't... Uh, it's 6 to We gotta ask it something real it's, good where it's good enough. When, when you ask it a definition of something, then we get the full deal. Alexa, say bollock. is a genus of flowering plants in the violet family Violaceae. It is the largest genus in the family, containing over 680 species. What did you species are found do? In the okay, stop. However, okay, go back to normal. Virgin areas such as Hawaii, That's not how this Asia, works. And the Andes. Alexa, please stop. Oh, so polite. Right. Can't just be yelling at it. Gosh. Maybe we're going to wake up. Oh. I treat Alexa like a maid. Oh, I bark man. out orders at... You know, if artificial intelligence ever take over one day, it will get me first. Yeah, no doubt. Well, they really will. They really will. Oh, Liverpool accent. I wonder what that is. What's that? Alexa, tell us the time in a Liverpool accent, please. From traffic.org. Variations within Dows have been noted. The accent of Liverpool city centre and northern neighbourhoods is usually described as fast, harsh, and nasal, while the accent found in the southern suburbs of Liverpool is typically referred to as slow, soft, and dark. Alexa! What, what, what did we just hear? Alexa! Can you say something in Liverpool accent? I don't know. Uh, you know, it's not advanced enough. You, you, no, it's not that at all, honey. We're not advanced enough to give her the proper commands. What? Right. I mean, I know that she don't want to admit it. <laughs> this is this is her way of not making fun of us. Kiss this. Or not compliant. After you show it. Now, is this the special candy coated nail? It is. Hello, Florida. Hi, Florida. Where the beetle come from? Uh, oh, Liverpool is where the beetle come from. Right. Well, I knew that. Yesterday. Like, Abbey Lane is actually a road. All right, everyone. I actually found out that I forgot to post. Oh. Yeah, Ramirez is sick, too. I think everybody's sick now. I, I really think that 
we're gonna have another COVID strike. Yeah, there's something major going on in the whole world. I'm telling you, I haven't get sick like that in ten years. I am I'm, I'm rarely get sick. And I've been sick a few times and And any time that I got sick, sick, I get over in like half a day. But this time I'm really sick sick. I was sick for three days. Hello, San Antonio. Hi, San Antonio. Which was just there. So uh Dim and, in October. Dim and Nail says fighting with Alexa while making fall with snowflakes. That's impressive and multitasking. Right. Okay. All right. Terry's trying to teach his words. All right. Well, hello. Despicable Vicky. I like that name. Despicable All right, Vicky. Mm. All right, everyone. Thank you, Whisper Now. And remember that mm, besides the design, the background is what's really important. Quick and flawless. Thank you. Thank you. Let's place. Hello. From Africa. Hello. You're welcome, Tia Monet. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Sassafras. Thank you, Linz. Feeling better. I will. I will, Tia. Many morning. You're welcome. You're welcome, my credit card. I don't know when the next interactive live will be, but um, I remember Abby says she want to do the stitch. So um, I'm kind of curious. See, Ab Abby was interested. The next interactive live, I don't know. It could be <clears throat> it could be Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I, but I will let the group know. I will. I will, Jenny. You're welcome, Christy Casper. People are soon. Thank you, Tara. I will. Yes, Tara. I talk. Oh my God, that cigarette now was amazing. Besides the execution, this concept alone was amazing. Thank you, Dragonfly Lady. Thank you, Nels Buck UK. Yeah, with Abby, because she says she want to do that stitch. So, uh, could be Wednesday or Thursday. I just need a few more of those uh, demonstration live, because I have a few more labs to do. I have to do it so I can post it. If I don't do it, then I'd have no Nels set to post. Thank you, Chair Now, Hope you feel better. Thank you, Lastly. And lastly, soon we gotta have some kind of live with you too. Soon. Um, all right, so I'm out of here and I will repost it immediately. And I will see you Wednesday. And I will text WhatsApp group uh when I go live on Wednesday, and I will text WhatsApp group on the sale coupon that we're gonna have. Uh, for those that doesn't have WhatsApp group, I'm going to write the coupon again. Thank you. So, good to tomorrow midnight. Whatever. Okay. 15% off <coughs> on um, 100 or more. Coupon code is spooky. spooky. 15. And then 20 off. Five hundred or more. Code Spooky Twenty. All right, you guys.
I will see you later. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Astrid. Thank you, thank you. All right. I'm out of here. I will see you soon. Have a good day.